Sisters, hello queens, hello everybody, hello everybody. So today it is, I'm having something nice. Please don't mind my sippy cup, all my wine glasses are broken. Anyways, I am hoping that you ladies had a productive, lovely, lovely day. I know it's reconciliation day today, so I really, really hope that you guys had fun and i'm actually making this video because today i actually had a very interesting day um today i had a very 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 productive day my day was so productive and it's like i could feel this wave of like this product of like this creative energy like i just i had all these buzzing ideas about certain stuff and i had all these amazing concepts that i had for certain things that i'm actually working on so it was like an amazing day for me and during that amazing time as i was still enjoying myself which i still am now and also the one might be adding to that just you know take note but like you know what i realized imagination is so powerful like and you know with imagination what is nice about imagination is that there's no limit there's literally no limits imagination is just you can literally be sitting here and take yourself to greece take yourself to morocco take yourself to egypt take yourself literally anywhere and everywhere that you want to go and enjoy yourself there and still come back but while physically still being in this space and i feel like we actually take it for granted we take imagination for granted and we take imagination for granted firstly secondly we actually don't use our imagination the way that we actually are supposed to be using it we are not utilizing it to its full capacity the imagination because you know people instead of imagining and just having fun with your imagination and training your mind to let your imagination run run as wild as you possibly can uh people just think Ugh, it would never happen so why why am i doing this i mean why not you know i actually read somewhere that if you are able to actually put a picture in your mind put a picture of whatever life that you want if you're able to see a picture if you're able to see a video that means that in another universe there's actually another you that is living that life that is why it, it actually is coming to you as pictures and visualizations and things like that so the fact that you can actually imagine it it means that it is not impossible everything every invention that we have actually started with, with the imagination and so it's okay so because i didn't script this i don't know if i'm going to be saying it right if i say it starts with the imagination and then there's an idea or maybe it starts with an idea and then it's an imagination i'm not sure but it starts with an idea because i feel like it, it it's all um it all just comes together and just creates this amazing 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 product or amazing um video or whatever that you actually are using your mind to try and create so i think it's maybe starts with an idea and then you have an imagination after the idea and then you actually execute and then now the idea basically the idea is <gasps> yes so ideas are actually messages from the universe right and for those ideas to become live you actually have to execute them so that's why when you actually get an idea it's not just an idea it's not just you thinking let me start selling fish it is a message from the universe and the universe is telling you you know you could actually be good at selling fish so actually just sell fish so I feel like we, we really underestimate the power of imagination and you know the thing is when you imagine something and you imagine yourself in a certain place you are going to have these feelings that will come from you being in that place that um those feelings are actually inviting whatever that you actually are imagining to you because what you're saying to the universe is universe i want to stay in this frequency of being happy because i'm at this place so the universe is not seeing it as an imagination the universe is seeing it as a manifestation so with that being said i feel like people should really try and utilize your imagination to its highest capacity if you can imagine a flying laptop that means you 
you actually have the part to create a flying laptop just go for it create it and see and it's like and you know the thing is about imagination and creativity and how it actually works together it's like when you have this idea and then you have the imagination and then you actually put it into you execute the plan and you actually get to showcase whatever that you imagined and you just see how it lights people up or how it like helps people or how it just makes people feel good whether maybe you're a musician or you're a creative or whatever that you do and i feel like that is the best reward it's like something that money can't even buy because it's like this all started in my mind that's how powerful i am everything started in my mind then i decided to execute it and then when i executed it people actually appreciated my thoughts and my ideas and it's it's just i feel like i'm rambling because i'm too excited um and also like i said probably the wine as well but yeah i feel like i'm rambling and but yeah like today i was just having this overwhelming feeling of creativity like i and you know one thing that i actually noticed today is when you are when you listen to great music and you watch great movies or like you really are an arty person or like you consume arty content in terms of you know maybe youtube channels that you watch or like the music that you listen to or like the books that you read or whatever that you do um you actually, I feel like energy is very easy to transfer. So if you actually are watching or listening to someone that is a creative, you actually get more creative because it's like they're passing that energy to you. Because like today I've just been listening to like this good music and I would listen to a song and think, flip, I wonder what they were thinking when they were when they just put this together because this is like like a masterpiece. It's like amazing. And so, and come to think of it, it was all just in their head. And it's like, okay, so we're all human with the same capacity. If they can do it, why can't I do it? So it's the same thing. And that's why um, I was like, you know what? Imagination is so powerful and people just don't get how powerful imagination is. And the thing is, you can actually let your imagination run as wide as or wide or wild as you possibly can no one can stop you your head is not gonna bust just because you are thinking of a flying laptop it's not you all have the you have the power to literally create anything and everything that you actually want and it's like you know once you understand that you life just becomes smooth sailing for you honestly because it's like everything and every and anything that i want will be provided for me and I know that and I believe that and I don't have to worry about how it's going to be provided or when it's going to be provided. But I know that I'm not going to lack anything. Everything that I want will be provided for me. That is That can actually even be your like morning affirmation daily. And you're just going to see because even me, I've been saying, you know, I'm a creative person. Like I've been affirming creativity. I've been saying, you know, I'm, in a, I'm, I'm a creative person. I'm an intelligent person. I am a confident woman. And I feel like all the affirmations are actually manifest, um, manifesting now. And they're actually coming true now. And I feel like everything that I wrote down, I can actually proudly say, I am creative. You know, I am a creative person. And anyone that gets to see my creativity would appreciate that i'm a creative i'm not saying i'm better than anyone but it's like i am a creative and the thing another thing is i think also with the whole dimming your light thing is because <clears throat> people have this thing that if i say i'm creative or like i'm a catch or like i'm beautiful that means i'm dim i'm saying you are not no there's enough space for everyone to be beautiful and creative there's enough people that have different types of tastes someone might look at my content and not really like it and that is fine you know and then they look at the at the next person's uh, content and really really like it and then i might also look at another person's uh, content and not really feel like it's relatable to me meaning that i'm not really gonna you know con continue consuming that content but then i look at someone else's and i'm like mm, okay this is what's for me so I'm so happy. I am so happy that I am at a point where I am not scared to actually just be the best version of myself because I'm thinking, you know, I don't want to make the next person feel bad or feel like I'm trying to think I'm better. 
you know and i'm so happy that i am actually not modest when it comes to my great attributes my great personality traits and my you know things that i do things that i like my hobbies my creativity anything that i'm good at i am so happy that i'm actually not modest to say thank you like if i get a compliment thank you like before i would get a compliment and be like mm. now i get a compliment thank you because i believe that i deserve it because i feel i put a lot in everything that i do and i try to make everything good and perfect and to a standard that i think actually suits me and i have high standards so yeah so if a person compliments me i feel like i'm saying thank you i acknowledge it and i know that i deserve it and okay thank you so much for coming to my TED talk i don't want this i don't want this to be long this is like such a random video it's on the 16th of december it's reconciliation day today so i'm not really sure when i'm gonna post this because already i have a video that is posting and then i have another one that is due tomorrow so i might post this on sunday or monday or something i think i'll post it on monday anyways thank you for coming to my TED talk let's get some more creative work done and finish this wine <laughs>